Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Had a kids. I'm Q, the Costa Rican coach of the Chicago Dragapults. And today we are back with another Pokemon Draft League battle. This time we're here in the Pokemon Premier League, otherwise known as the PPL. It's week one, guys, and we want to start the season off with a bang. Our Chicago Dragapults won a W today, okay? We're going up against the homie Shroom Ravers, someone who I've never fought before in the Draft League format. Really cool dude. They've been around for quite some time. They're new to us. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's put the matchup on screen right now. Boom, my man drafted Garchomp, Samurott, Hisui, Mew, Enamorous, Sinister, that can Terra into Ghost Fairy or Steel, Fortress, Entei, Raikou, Hitmonchan, Terra, Zangoose, that can go Normal, Ghost, or Fighting, Charbok, and Stone, Yurner. So pretty cool team. They have really good uh, hazard uh, support in Samurott, Hisui, being able to click Season's Edge and getting up Spikes. Uh, they have someone who can take advantage of chipping things down, uh, as in getting off big damage with Enamorous and Garchomp. Mew, you never know what they're going to want to do. And uh, yeah, Entei, Raikou are also like huge threats that could potentially show up. I honestly hope they bring Entei because one of our win conditions is centered around setting up in front of that guy. Let's talk about the team that we are going to be bringing today, guys. We have Rock Polish 3 attacks to Rapagos with Terra Star Storm, Flamethrower, and Ice Beam. I really only needed Terra Star Storm and then Flamethrower to get the Okoan Fortress after this 30 has been broken. And then Ice Beam to get the Okoan Garchomp as well as Ice Beam to be super effective against the Sinistra before they Terra out of their Grass Typing. Uh, up next, we have Comfey. Now, if Terra Abigos don't work, as Comfey might. Uh, this can set up in front of Fortress. This can set up in front of Entei. As soon as we get hit, we get that Key Berry. Yum, yum, yum. All of a sudden, we got plus one defense. Now we're tanking another hit. And we're clicking Terra Blast to knock out either one of those guys. And then after that, Draining Kiss is kind of all she wrote. That's all we needed. And uh, Store Power is just there in the event we do some sort of like uh, Calm Mind Wars with Sinistra. We might be able to win that exchange. It all really depends. Could get a little dicey. Uh, up next, we have Meow Skareda with the clear amulet to uh, negate the Sinistra's um, strength saps so that we can do omega damage regard disregarding whatever typing they are. Knock off if they're ghosts. Flower trick if they turn into fairy. Uh, and then if they turn into steel, I guess I just spam knock off. We also have home claws, which could be really fun in an end game scenario where I outpace everything, which I do. Uh, and we get a home claws off, it's kind of just over. We can just triple axe or we can flower trick. I ended up going with overgrow just so I have flower trick and knock off stab at all times versus just getting one of them stab one time. You see what I'm saying? Up next, we have who I'm predicting to be the MVP of this team because T spikes are necessary to win this game. Can we get them up? Yes. Can we keep them up? 100% because their spinner is a fortress and I will be going Hargle Dango in front of it every single time and I don't give a damn. Uh, but basically, we have Shuckerberry in case we can catch Garchomp slipping and hit him with a nice little Ice Beam as well. Hydro Pump to, uh, f uh, you know, just to have a nice uh, super effective move for Entei as well as hit Fortress for some big damage and potentially negate uh, Raikou from subbing up immediately. And then, of course, you know, hey, if we can get the Toxic Spikes up, for Tentacruel's job is done, okay? Once my man gets these T-Spikes up so that we can poison things like Sinistra, things like Garchomp, things like Mew, Entei, Raikou... They're not bringing Arbok, which is going to absorb it, and they cannot spin against my team because I do have a Goldango, the best spin blocker in the game. Up next, we have Hitmontop as like a soft check to some of their physical offensive Pokemon in Garchomp, Samurott, maybe weakening Entei before uh, we go in with Kumfei, maybe weakening Hitmonchan before we go in with Meowskarada. Or no, that's a bad idea because they're a fighting type. Maybe, maybe we would just weaken it. You know, just 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 nerfing it with Intimidate is kind of what we needed to do. And then our Mock Punch, Triple Axle, Earthquake, Rapid Spin coverage goes pretty crazy here. And then Goldengo, like I said, the Spin Blocker. If we can get this guy in front of Fortress on a free turn, where they either click T Wave, where they click Rapid Spin, or they click Earthquake before my balloons popped, we get a substitute off and we just start denting the team. Nasty Plot, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball. There's just, I don't care. Samurai Hisui, that's your switching? No, sir. That thing's getting to a Carol by Make It Rain. That does not matter. But regardless, this is the team that we are going to be taking into week one to fight the homie Shrew Raver. Once again, link to their channel in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches that are involved in this PPL Draft League season. All their links are going to be in the description down below, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team, as well as how do you think the battle is going to play out, as well as did you subscribe to the other coaches? Because you should. With that being said, guys, I hope you all liked the video. I hope you all subscribe if you're new, and I hope you all enjoy the battle. All right, y'all. Here we are for our week one matchup here in the PPL. Going up against the homie Shroom Raver. He did leave behind some huge threats. No Samurai, no Enamorous, no Entei, which is kind of crazy. Instead, he does bring the Zangus, which may or may not just clean sweep me. It's kind of crazy. But what I do see 
is no T spike immunity, which is really nice. Their spinner I could always like block with Goldengo. So I kind of just want to check something real quick. Does Mew Okomi with Psychic? Since I am um Oh shit, we got we, we got a little bit of time. Since I am Fizz Def instead of Spud Def. Uh we shouldn't get Okoed by Psychic. Even if it's like specs. Yeah, even if it's like, well, Specs would have a chance to. So, you know what? We're just going to do it. Let's lead off with it. They do have Garchomp. We could catch that off guard with our Shuckaberry. And we'll just see where the day takes us, man. We have a really good spin blocker in Goldengo. One of the best in the game. They have a really good spin blocker, too, in Sinister that will potentially sweep the shit out of us. But we have some we have some ways out of it. Some ways out of it. Um. So, yeah, man. Let's see how it goes. Raikou also looks like a pretty big threat. If I can keep up T-Spikes and... Rock polish with my turtle. It's looking like it could be pretty, pretty simple as well. But then the sinister once again, kind of a huge threat because it does get access to heat proof. And if it's like Terra Steel or something, which I think it's gonna be, uh, could be a problem. So we'll just see what they do. Lead off with Parade, which is the Raikou, which also will kill me if I'm um if there's specs, right? I think specs kills. Yeah, Specs has a really good chance to kill. So, already on the back foot. Very unfortunate. But it is what it is. We're just going to try and get up our T-Spike. If they immediately go for a Calm Mine, that becomes a bit of an issue. But if it's Life Orb, it doesn't kill me. So, we're just going to go for a T-Spike. They do both switch. Okay, so this won't kill regardless of what it is. Perfect. All right, sick. And if they want to go into Fortress, I just go hard into Goldengo. Stop the spin. Because keeping up T-Spike is very, very important. So, I'm curious how much damage that did it's definitely not maybe it is specs actually it's not life orb maybe it's magnet like how much did it do once i find my once i see my hp again i'll i'll, I'll find out right now they're going to mobius which happens to be mew and it's all to say and it's boots but no we, they went for we, we didn't go first yet um so yeah mew can be literally anything uh we went to 142 so it did it did 61 points of damage, so that is like Magnet or Specs. No, it's not Specs. Maybe it's just Modest Magnet? It could just be Modest Magnet. Uh, it's also a low roll for something else. Um, we're going to keep this guy around. I don't really have a good Mew check, to be honest. They could easily U-turn here and then just kill my cat, and I would be very sad. I don't want to use this either. So maybe I do just sack it off and then get my cat in. Um... Yeah, we'll just Hydro Pump here. As they sub. Oh, please land. Please land, Tentacruel. Please land, Tentacruel. Come on, you have one job right now. Let's go. Thank God. This better break sub. <laughs> Let's find out if Ice Beam, in fact, breaks sub on this Mew. If they're max HP. Oh, wow. If they're max HP, Hydro Pump's a roll to break sub. So that's kind of crazy. Even if they're not max HP, Ice Beam never breaks sub. So we have to just keep going for Hydro Pump, unfortunately. Oh, they might attack now, but this leads me to believe that they're not U-turn. So I'm going to go out in a Meow Scarada. Like, there's no way you're sub U-turn, you know what I mean? So they might want to sub up again, try and fish for the Hydro Pump miss. But I'm just going to go into Meow Scarada and fire off a very strong knockoff. As they Earthquake, perfectly fine with me. Perfectly fine with me. We get to keep our Shuckaberry, maybe even being out of range of a Garchomp or EQ later in the game. Uh, regardless, they're not, um, what's it called? I get to just click knockoff here. Knockoff is super free. I could hone claws on some funny shit, but I think knockoff just all in all nets me the best out of this turn. So I'm just gonna knock off. It probably won't kill the Mew uh, if they're like super defensive, which I feel like they might be, but there's no way they're U turn, so I don't think they Oko us unless they also are packing like Leech Life or something crazy. But yeah, knockoff does like 83 to 98 minimum to offensive Mew. So we'll just see what happens here. If we if we get if our cat goes down, our cat goes down. It's very unfortunate. That's one of the outs. That we had against Sinistra, so it could potentially be bad. But I guess getting rid of whatever this Mew set wants to do is also pretty nice. Um, and they actually would draw. So I could totally see Fortress, I could see Garchomp, I could see Raikou. Like, there's a lot of things that could happen here. We got a TBS, which is Young Fortress. And we're going to knock off its potential Rocky Helmet. Lefties, even better. So yeah, they could totally spin here. I'm just going to, if they Volt Switch, whatever. I'm just going to get to go into my guy here. And prevent the spin. Because keeping up T-Spikes is detrimental to winning this game. So we're just going to do that. Um, and then we can get a free sub up and start like clicking buttons. 
Now, if they double, like, in a chomp, that's also really nice. I think their best play here is to just Volt Switch, honestly. But there is a chance. Maybe they didn't bring Volt Switch. Maybe they wanted Spin, Rocks, Gyro Ball, something else. <gasps> Body Press. Like, who knows? Earthquake for Goldengo makes the most sense. But uh, we'll see what they click here. We'll see what they click here. They do click Volt Switch. Okay, so very good play. Very good play. If they go into Garchomp, that's fine. They're getting it po Something's getting poisoned. Something's getting poisoned here. That's the that's the main goal here. Best case scenario, it's Sinistra. Um, I could totally see them going into Zangoose as well. Uh, because that is their Terra Captain, I believe. I think it can go into Ghost, if I'm not mistaken. Which would be uh, really good for them at the moment. Not that they would like be forced to either, but... We're definitely keeping Goldango around, unless they go into like Raikou. Then we'll just click Shadow Ball. Okay, we'll just click Shadow Ball. Because uh, this thing, if it's... Because we know it's not it's not specs unless it's also like super uninvested. But this shadow ball to us on Goldengo should never really yeah it should never really do all that much. And this is a huge threat out of the way if we do uh, end up getting it out of the way. Um, we could also just vote switch again. I like my cat still being healthy. So yeah, they don't Oko us, so we're just gonna click shadow ball here. If they Volt Switch, they Volt Switch. Don't go into Zangoose. Don't go into Zangoose. That'd be such a good play, but don't do it. Don't go into Zangoose, please. <laughs> yeah, they gotta be like Modest Magnet or some shit. Or just Modest. Modest high roll on the, on the first Tentacruel turn was also really nice for them. So, Or really likely for them, I should say. It wasn't even that big of a high roll. It was like close to the mid roll. Let's see if they go Zangoose. See what they do. Me not bringing my ground type kind of sucks, but I, th I couldn't really fit Mudsdale on the team with what I wanted to do. And Mudsdale like really enables Sinistra to like do more than I wanted it to be able to do against me, even though there's still a very high chance that Sinistra will click some buttons against me. It's a good fucking Pokemon. Regardless, I think if they do end up going into Zangoose, I might sack off my um, Tentacruel. I definitely don't want to sack this off. Like I said, T-Spikes are super fucking nice in this game, and I want to keep them up. Granted, they might not have Rapid Spin on the fucking Fortress, but they definitely do. Anyways, they're going to Candy Graham, which just so happens to be this smoke Pokemon. Okay, we'll take that. This is good chip. This is really good chip. This is such good chip. Oh my god, look at that good-ass chip. And a Spadef Drop, which doesn't matter. Look at that chip. Alright, so they can go for Rocks, which is fine with me. I'm just going to get my Hitmon top in because this is my quote-unquote dedicated check. Um, we Intimidate it, which is nice if they're not Clear Amulet, of course. And uh, we can Revenge it with Triple Axle or EQ. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to switch into that. Keep my Goldengo uh, at least able to tank um, any one Fortress hit and then threaten it with Shadow Ball as well. And see where the day takes us. Honestly, if we're in that scenario where Goldengo's in in front of Fortress... And we get a free turn. Well, we always sub, actually. So, never mind. We always sub. There's no, there's never another button to click here. But yeah, let's see what they want to do. They might just raw scale shot. I could totally see that. They're not clear amulet. So, they do just end up earthquaking. That still did fucking damage. Holy goddamn. <laughs> That's life orb. Okay. That is life orb guard chomp. Well, I can't fuck around. I gotta mock punch this. Yeah, I can't fuck around. I have to mock punch this. Yeah, I gotta mock punch this. If they go into Sinister, that I want them to go into Sinister. Like, please go into Sinister. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so fine with that. Uh, if they go back into Fortress, I will go into go. Oh, they switch. Who are we going into? Oh, Fortress. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm super cool with that. We're gonna get some chip on this. We're gonna get some Lefty's recovery back, putting us potentially out of range of another minus one life orb earthquake. Man, this is not the Garchomp check. Like, <laughs> I ran a lot of physically defense, too. I usually do this a lot in Gen 8 with this Pokemon specifically. And um, it usually did the damn thing. Regardless, I am going to go into Tentacruel instead of uh, Goldengo. Because I think it's a little smarter. If they Rapid Spin here, which I don't think they're going to do. I think they're going to Volt Switch. But even if they do Rapid Spin here, I can still get the T-Spike back up. So it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. And then we can just fire off a uh, Hydro Pump. But this also, in case they do Volt Switch, I wanted to either die here, which I don't think is going to happen. But I also wanted to, like, either let the Raikou come back in and take a little bit more of Toxic Chip. Or 
get something else to come in that will be taking the Toxic Chip, like, uh, like Mew or Sinistra. Once we get a turn where Goldango's in, in front of Fortress, we're in a very, a very good position. So that's kind of what I'm, like, hoping for to happen soon. But yeah, let's see what they want to do. Let's see what they want to do. Oh, man. This is, uh... This is definitely a battle. Life Orb Garchomp. That's crazy. But they do die after one more turn of whatever. Bolton. I forgot who this was. Oh, this guy. Okay. I mean, if I was max speed, I would outpace you, but I'm not. But that's fine. Um, they're also only poison chipped. So it's actually really good for them. If they trailblaze here, they might just win the game. Yeah, if they trailblaze here, they might just win the game. But I also have this. Then I have this. Uh, so we'll see what they end up doing. I'm just going to haze, potentially, if they try to... Because I should never be fast with this unless they're uninvested. And there's no shot they're uninvested. So yeah, I'm just going to haze in case they want to, like, trailblaze and I don't die. Might seem like a silly play, and it, it kind of is in theory, but it also... It'll stop the trailblaze sweep if they do trailblaze here. But I guess... No, because I die on the next turn, so never mind. Haze was the dumbest play, but... Quick attack, that's fine. So yeah, they were they were they were covering for the fact that I could potentially be um what's it called um faster, which is smart, very smart. So now I mean, don't we just go out into into the Meow Scarada? What's this Pokemon name? Zangus. I mean, if they Terra this, that's amazing. Then they're not terrestrializing uh Sinistra. What are the Terra types? The Terra types on Zangus are normal Ghost fighting. Normal Ghost and Fighting. So, my Meow Scarada... I mean, Flower Trick, sh they should be in range of Flower Trick. They took two turns of... Yeah, they should be in range of Flower Trick, I think. So, yeah. I'm going to do that. I think. Yeah, I mean, they should totally be in range of Flower Trick. Yeah, they're in range. Are they in range of... Mm, is knockoff? No. What are they at? Did they take Life Orb Chip? Did I miss that? Because they took one round of Toxic, so they'd have been at 88. Or one round of Poison, they would have been at 88. Then they would have taken it again and been at 76. So yeah, they are in range of knockoff. But if they tear a Fighting here, that really sucks. So I think my best bet is to just clip Flower Trick. In case. In case they Terra. Okay, they do withdraw. Man, maybe I might have to start. Maybe I might have to double. Oh, they're going to Candy Graham. Who's this? Oh, perfect. This is gone. Okay, nice. Amazing. I was like, who's, who's Candy Graham? I don't fucking remember names. Um, So this threat is gone. Huge. If they go out into Raikou, I just stay in. And maybe it's E-Belt. Maybe it's Modest. Maybe it's Modest E-Belt. E-Belt actually is really nice on Raikou. I mean, let's see what they want to go into right now. Like, would that have done? It did 61, right? To, uh... The... Oh, no, they got into this. Okay. I mean, if they want to Volt Switch again, so be it, man. Eventually, we'll be in the position that we need to be. And I gotta keep the T-Spikes up. I gotta. I, I literally have to. I must. It, it's a predicated turn. They should win 100% Volt Switch. I gotta keep them up. I can't... I can't not keep them up. I need to poison that Sinistra. And the way they've been playing it, it's 100% not Boots. So, like, I have to do this. Nice, perfect, amazing. We're now we're, we're we're sitting pretty. If they so what have we seen stealth rocks probably rapid spin, bolt switch maybe EQ. Regardless, we're gonna scout and click substitute here. Shadow Ball does just kill this Pokemon, so I could just fire one off, but uh, this is also really nice. So they do have a Shadow Ball switch in in theory, in uh in the Zangus. But yeah, I'm clicking. I'm clicking sub. This is where Lefty's Goldango would be really nice. Mm, but I also needed to, um... I needed to, what's it called? Parade. I forgot who this was. Raikou? Yeah, I think I have to click Make It Rain. Because they're going to Volt Switch. Yeah, I think I gotta click Make It Rain. Because they're going to Volt Switch. They're 100% going to Volt Switch into Zangus. So I'm going to click Make It Rain. If they stay in, good play. Uh, But I'm going to click Make It Rain on the Volt Switch. Yes. 
Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Okay, good play. Good play, good play, good play. I could go into Meowskarada again. Good play. I figured they would both switch. But I guess they assessed this as the threat. But a Shadow Ball into T-Spike chip would have actually probably knocked them out. But it's fine. Um, unless they hard read me and click Aura Sphere here. We just go back out into Meow Meow. I really need that Sinister to come in, man, at some point. Yeah, we're just going to go back into Meow Meow. Hopefully, they a Thunderbolt again. If they both switch here, that's going to be a little shitty, but it is what it is. Come on. What are we doing? Thunderbolt, perfect. Don't paralyze me, please. I'm a kitty cat. Don't do it. Thank God. Oh, there is a God out there. Let's go. All right, now we click knock, and I want to see what item they are, so this will be good information I have. What's their scarf? Nah, no way. That, that, like that, that damage that they did earlier was it had to be some some form of boosted item or just modest. So I guess modest scarf is a potential thing they could be. Uh, but let's see. Let us see. They do withdraw, so we're getting knockoff damage on something else, which is really nice. TBS once again. I mean, they're just gonna volt switch, but like I gotta make the Goldango play still. I kind of got to, because now this is in range of everything. Yeah, I mean, I've been making the same play every single time, but I feel like I still have to make the same play. But then the next time, if they do bolt switch it, oh shit. Shout out to Rose Voice for the win, for the subscription. If they do make the play to bolt switch here, I'm actually better off just clicking, uh... Well, no, because they quick attack into the guy. I'm just going to knock off. Let's see if they rapid spin. If they rapid spin, really, really, really good read. Bolt switch, let's go. Alright, so they still go into Zangoose and quick attack. But at the same time, we still... Like, this is in range of a lot of things now, I think. Potentially. <laughs> I don't know. I'm talking out my ass at this point. Um, they go into Bolton. Okay, yeah, so they're going to quick attack us, which is perfectly fine. I could, in theory... Go into Goldango? Which would be kind of funny. I could also Sucker Punch here. Like, they don't know I'm not Sucker Punch. But man, this cat is also a really good, like, win condition at, at the moment. So I might have to keep it around. Yeah, I think I just, I sack off Goldango. And if they quick attack here, then that's really good. And then I could bring in Comfey and just start going for game. Let's see what they do. They do, in fact, quick attack. Perfect. I'm experiencing high tide. Ah. All right, we're getting more chip on it. Which I mean, this is in range of everything now, which is still like it's kind of irrelevant. But um, honestly, if I die here, don't I just go into my turtle and click rock polish? I think I do. Am I faster than Raikou? I think I am faster than Raikou. I'm pretty sure I count for that. Um, and then we can just start threatening. Wish I call mine instead of ice beam now, but it is what it is. Um, what do they click here? Because I don't want to go into him on top. Like, that's kind of irrelevant. I kind of want to keep him around. But do I? I mean, Mach Punch finishes off the Raikou. You know what? Yeah, I don't think we need him on top anymore. But no, getting off a spin actually would be really nice. Let's go him on top, actually. We don't need a spin. I'm boots on the, on the turtle. We don't need a spin. What if there was a move I could have rocked on Meow Skarada that would have allowed me to take advantage of the Fortress turns? Anyways, we intimidate them. They click knock off. Perfect. Wow, actually perfect turn. Holy shit. Uh, cause now I'm gonna triple Axel. On the potential Sinister switch in. Well, last time they went into the fucking guy. They could also tear a ghost here, it would be kind of funny. I'll Rapid Spin. I mean, because if they do go into Sinister, that's good for me. So, I'll Rapid Spin here. They do withdraw? Okay. I mean, if they go into Sinister, they get T-Spiked, and then now I don't need Goldango anymore. Nope, Mobius. Okay, that's fine. Double Axel would have been nice to get some damage off here, but this is also okay. 
there is a chance we're faster if this is like defensive Mew. But let's see. Oh yeah, we know it's lefties, never mind. I was like, let's see if it's like mirror herb or some random shit. Um Mew. We won't know the speed tiers anymore because our shit did get knocked off. If they're just like creeping like nothing. We are faster if they're creeping nothing. Um Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with just sacking this off, I think. Now we got rid of hazards, which is really nice. Um so yeah, we can just click uh triple axle. Earthquake maybe have been a little bit better, but this is fine. <sighs> Triple Axel is nice. I honestly think the go the, the Zangus probably still killed us, but I guess they don't want to terrestrialize it, so that's why they didn't stay in because of Mach Punch, of course. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've already revealed Mach Punch, so. They do Earthquake. Does this kill? We are defensive. It doesn't kill. Big hit on top. Hopefully getting all three. Hopefully getting all three. Doing zero damage. We got two. Not bad. Honestly, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And we can click Mock Punch, which will do even less damage, but it'll prevent this from, like, doing anything crazy. Um. Yeah. Because then we just have to... We might go into the turtle now. Like, there's no way they'd be Substitute plus, like, T-Wave. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's the set. <gasps> what have we seen? Earthquake? We've only seen Earthquake. Maybe they, maybe they do have more than that. A crit! Nice, crit mattered. Yeah, we've only seen sub and earthquake. It, it which like, you know, leads me to believe, uh, like, I'm scared, you know? I'm definitely scared. So let's see what happens here. They're gonna get hella chipped. Is there anything else I could possibly go into besides this? Oh, wait, Comfey probably could just kill this, right? What if I just go into Comfey? Instead, and I just call mine and then get the key berry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna go into Comfey. I don't like they could be taunt, but that's also fine. At least on this turn. I don't think there's like a steel move I'm worried about. So yeah, let's just call mine. Shit. <laughs> Good play. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. Why'd we do this? Oh, it was so stupid. Okay, this is... I mean, if they go into Sinisha, it's fine. Right? Because they'll get toxic. They can't go into Fortress after this because I will kill it with Terra Blast Water. So, like, this seems bad, but it's actually not that bad. Damn, I should have been Terra Steel. I went Terra Water because of uh, the potential Entei, but it's not here, obviously. I low-key want my key berry activated too. But nah, I should just kiss. I should just kiss. Hopefully it kills. Thank god. Okay. I mean, Comfy still might just do it though. Like, I, I won't... Like, if we can get the Sinisha Poison, which we 100% will here. Especially if they go on to Fortress now. Like, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Fortress. At plus one. I just Terra Blast it. Yeah, and it dies. So let's see what happens. And then we call mine once in front of the Sinistra, and then we go from there. So Keyberry's not gonna be able to activate, which is a little unfortunate. Kinda wish I was um something else. And literally anything else. Actually, stored power low key might kill, but just to solidify the T-spike staying up, we have to go for this. I just want to clarify, Terra Water is one of my terrestrialization options. It is perfect. Alright, let's go for it. Terra Blast Water. And we're 100 percent faster. Let's go. And then we Drain and Kiss the Raikou. We Drain and Kiss the Zangus. And that's all she wrote. The Zangus might actually be able to clutch up potentially. But as long as I keep my turtle in the back, we actually should never lose to that Pokemon. So yeah, this will kill this, which is perfectly fine. Now I'm glad I'm not Terra Steel. If I was Terra Steel, though, I would have Terrestrialized on the Mew. And then... Uh, call mine twice, but and then and then then this would have been a range of draining kiss. But also, I I honestly just didn't foresee toxic. I'll be honest, like I just didn't foresee toxic. But regardless of what comes in here, we just hit it with something. Um, Sinistra gets poison. We just suck it, giggity. Actually, we might call mine like I said once in front of Sinistra. It depends on how I'm feeling. <sighs> see what they do. See what they do. Comfy looks so beautiful with a hat on. 
But yes, like them going Sinister is the best case scenario. I mean, I drain against the other two guys. So regardless, it's going to be Sinister versus the world. And I still have Meow Scarada. Um, not healthy at all, but still got Meow Scarada, so they can't clear amulet me. Although we are fucking hella chip, so any move is going to kill us. They do go... This is Sinister. Is it Boots? It's definitely not Boots. Not the way they've been playing. Not the way they've been playing. Alright, perfect. So, do I... The question remains, do I... Sinistra... Machigacha and this move. Since I am that... Do I... Plus two. Huh. I think I might need to... I think it's my only way to win. If it's super offensive, I might die. This is why I really wish I was lefties. I think I'm gonna call mine once. I'm gonna call mine once. Okay, they don't Terra, so that's huge. So maybe they're not Steel. Maybe they're just Fairy. Which is also fine with me. Matcha Gacha, does it kill? Please don't. 210? We live on Toxic, surely. Fuck, I should have hit it. Okay, uh, this is gonna be a tough one, guys. Cause now we have to call the terrestrialization. We have to, we have to just call it. We have to either flower trick with meow, or we got a knockoff. Um, just trying to think. Oh, okay, wait. Actually, we just go into this, don't we? Wait, no. We go into meow scarada. They tear it into whatever they tear into, whether it's fairy or steel. And then we should be able... We might be able to... Yeah, we actually wait. We should be okay. Potentially. I'm going to go into Meow. Because they also might just Strength Zap here, which would be perfect for us. I don't know what item it is, but I'm going to knock it off. Could be Key Berry. We might, they might have shown lefties, but I wasn't paying attention. Um, It's got to be Terra Fairy. But then that's fine. We just make it rain. And then our turtle clutches up. So, yeah, I'm just going to knock off here. If they tear a fairy, they tear a fairy. I'm, I'm like, so fine with it. Because then we just, we, just, we just beat it with, uh, with our guy. Okay, perfect. Oh, the Culver. Good ring. Uh, let's see what they do here. Do they strength sap? I assume the strength sap's coming in. Which would be great for us. Huge for us. Huge. Huge. They're gonna still get healed, which is like whatever, but our attack doesn't go down, which is great. Which I feel like if you're not lowering the attack, you shouldn't be able to heal. But I'm not, the, I'm not the guy who codes the game. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Um. So yeah, now we just knock off. Again. Do we live a matcha gacha? Probably not. Meow We're at 88. Damn, we actually do. But I think two of these is fine. Like, two of these puts it in range of Goldengo, so. Yeah, yeah, look at that damage. Perfect. And if we if we can avoid the burn here, we actually just 1v1 this. Don't get burned. You're so good to me, Meow Scarada. Holy shit. Alright, so I guess they weren't Terra Fairy this whole time. What were they then? Oh, we got burned. Sorry, Meow Scarada, you're bad to me. <laughs> that burn came so late. Like, what the fuck? That burns came so late. Jesus, man. I've seen the homie J click Matcha Gacha with this Pokemon so many times and never get a burn. Went first time it's ever been used against me and they get a burn. Alright, this is fine. Honestly, we're okay. I think the turtle uh like wins. Um, am I faster than Raikou is the question. After a rock polish. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm pretty sure that's like what we calc for. Oh, we're not if they're max speed. But we shouldn't ever die to it. Anyways, we Shadow Ball here. Didn't want to go into Terrapagos because if they do Strengths at me, they still get some HP back. Even though I don't have, like, max attack IVs. And I'd rather just uh, get a kill with this and then have it come down to the, uh, the Terrapagos. So yeah, we'll see. They faint. Perfect. And then, yeah, like... 100. Yeah, like... From what I can tell... Unless the showdown... Unless the damage calculator is, like, really fucking weird. We should be okay. Hmm. 
Oh, they're gonna tear with Zangoose, aren't they? I mean, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Unless they get a para. If they get a para, then we could be in a tough position. But honestly, hopefully this just dies. This doesn't die. No, no way. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we definitely go into turtle power. And we rock polish. And then hope for the best. Wait, Zangus's ability doesn't like... Zangus's ability doesn't give it speed, right? Like, it just gives it the toxic boost. Yeah, they're not quick feed. They could be Scarf, which would be kind of crazy. But no way they Scarf... No way they're fucking Scarf, uh... Um... What's it called? They could be Terrifying CC. But we're faster, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We just Rock Polish here. Every time. Thunderbolt. I thought they missed somehow. Just do not paralyze me, please. Please, game. Come on, Terrapagos. I know you're broken. You're an Uber. Don't do it. Oh, thank God. Man, that pause, bro. I swear to God. That pause do be getting you sometimes. All right, and this should die to Toxic. Let's go. And then Terrapagos should be able to clutch it up in front of Zangoose with whatever we go for. I won't go for Terra Star Storm just because they could potentially be Terra Ghost. I will just go for, like, Flamethrower or Ice Beam or some shit. Yeah, because they're in range. Yeah, they're 100% in range. So, yeah, we just go for... Uh, flamethrower. And let's see what they do. If they're Terra Fighting, they do Terrastralize here for sure. Or if they're Terra Ghost, they Terrastralize here for sure. But regardless, we just click Flamethrower. I don't think there's a position where we lose this anymore. Maybe a Terra Normal Banded Quick Attack? Potentially? Maybe? Like, I don't know. I don't know, though. I mean, I'm clicking my... I click my button. Like, it's over for me. I don't know what happens after this. We're about to find out. This has been a long battle. Holy shit. We got a text message. Uh, this has been a long battle. Let's see how it ends, man. Oh, man. Am I going to get Zangoose? There's no shot. There's no way. They're thinking about all the outcomes. I respect it. They do terrestrialize into the ghost. If it's a ghost, we're 100% fine. Into the normal. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens here, man. Does paranormal quick attack do enough? Oh, here it is. No shot. There's no way. Oh, that... No way. Like, it just did so much, though. It did just do so much. Holy shit. What a cool animation from Terrapagos. What a fun game, dude. Holy shit. This week one went crazy. 30 minutes plus in this battle. This is what Draft League's all about, man. That was so back and forth and to and fro. It, it, this was one of my this was genuinely one of my favorite um draft league battles like in recent in recent times. Obviously outside of you know winning a finals game, but this was such a this was such a fun battle. Big shout out to the homie Stream Raver. Go check him out. Link to his channel in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches that are in the PPL. Links to their channels in the description down below. Just more games like this is what you're gonna see uh, across those channels. So go check them out. Go subscribe to all of them. Bunch of cool people in this league. With that being said, man, I'm gonna get about it here. If y'all like what you saw and you saw what you like, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.